sorry to stop you, Let, just be, because we have only 20 minutes for it. So can we just bravo first? <laughs> Great job. I, you, you play beautifully, really. How old are you, Andrew? Uh, 15. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful, really beautiful. Um, I just have a few things I want to share with you. First, um, things that instead of playing the cello, which you do in front of people, you would um, give a speech. Yeah? Do, would you, would you, can you stand up with me? Would you give a speech uh, looking down with your eyes? Like say, good evening everybody. I want to tell you that um, I made this research about this paper and you know, I would fail you right away. <laughs> Even though what you say is unbelievable. Yeah, so um, let's, do you see, I always look, any place I play, I look for the exit sign. You see the exit sign? <laughs> <laughs> the exit sign, I'm not kidding, uh, they become my best friends. <laughs> and I play for them. Always look for them in any public <laughs> place, this exit sign. <laughs> You see the one over there? So, just try the beginning. Before we work on it a little bit, can you play for your new girlfriend? The exit <laughs> sign. <laughs> Good. Now imagine that, really, it's, it's your girlfriend. I mean, I know you're young. But you, you tell her something really special. But you don't just stare at her. You know, like a sometimes, sometimes, I, I give you a tip for life, sometimes just close your eyes. She'll think you mean something <laughs> special, so... <laughs> or here... Can you try when you change character? Just, I know it's artificial, but for now, since you are facing us, try artificially to do two things, to look at the exit sign, but then to look and close your eyes. Now close, yeah, go, go on, go. Back to the exit sign. Don't look at the bows, there's nothing to see. Good. Now, this is a tiny place, there's only one exit sign. You can have few girlfriends in a big <laughs> hall. So you don't have to stare at one spot, you can really go around. Okay, I had to say it, now we have to work on this. You know, when you play the cello, not like when you play violin and stand, you have basically two gravitation points that will help you to make sound. What is sound? Sound is weight and the movement of the weight. That's it, it's not pressure, we don't want to press. Yeah, we want to drop and move. So we need to drop our weight into two spots. Why two spots? Because those are the two spots that we touch something. Your feet on the ground and your butt on the chair. That's it. Yeah? So you play a lot of the time when you express your emotions, you create emotion that is not helping gravity. You do this. You lift your feet. So you are showing me that you are very expressive. However, there's no gravity. You are fighting gravity. What if you will, instead of this, you will do the opposite? When you want to express an emotion, you choose emotions that is actually to drop. And preferably, when it's below the fourth position, drop your weight into your butt, into the chair. So, but when you play here, into the feet. So above fourth position, below fourth position, I'm very general, yeah? We can change it sometime, but... So when you start on the chair, all the weight of your body drop to the chair. Try. Yes. Now play. Uh, and instead of, oh my God, actually use your feet as a gravity point. Look at the exit sign. Okay. Good. So now, if you can play around with those two gravitation points, your sound will have a chance. However, we make sound with our cello mouth, yeah? Like when I speak now, I'm using my mouth, I'm using my tongue, I'm using air and space. What is your cello mouth? Um. Now, what makes the sound of the cello? I mean, in your body, what makes sound? The left hand? Do you hear sound? No. The bow. 
So your cello mouth is your bow. Good. What is your cello tongue? What articulate? Like when you say, say good morning once. Good morning. Okay. Now take your tongue and drop it down in your mouth and say good morning. <laughs> See? It doesn't work. We don't even think about it. What is your cello tongue? No. The left hand does nothing. The left hand decides on heights of notes and decorates notes. What makes articulation in your mouth? Like what is your tongue? I mean, it has to be part of your mouth, your cello mouth. Um. Look, if I sing the song A, B, C, D, I'm using my, my uh, lips and my tongue. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? But now I want to make big sound. A, B, I'm adding air to it, that's it. I'm using the same thing. Lips and tongue, fingers. So let's do it on the cello, look. I, it will sound terrible, sorry. I'm using only my cello tongue, which is my fingers, my fingers. So it will sound terrible. Just fingers. Can you do that? You never use your fingers, you play like this. Try to put the bow under the frog, under the silver part, and just pump your hand and play this song, just with your tongue and lips, your cello tongues and lips. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> we are doing the ABCD song, wait. <laughs> Just finger, I don't want to see your arm move at all. Yeah, look, can you, can you do this for me? Can you hold an imaginary living heart? Okay, it's pumping. Can you pump it? In, say with me, in, out. In, out. Now say down, up. Down, up. Now imagine that the main vein of this heart is your thumb. It's always bent, and it pushes the blood in, and then pulls it out of the body. Now move it through the thumb. In, out, say. Down, up, down, up. Now drop the heart. Pronate your hand, and do the same thing. In, out, in, out, down, now hold the bow with the left hand in the middle on the D string. Place the heart, bend your thumb, and pump it. Down, up, down. See, you've never used your tongue. You speak really well without the tongue. <laughs> now, let's play just with the tongue. Sounds scratchy, I know, trust me. Bravo. Go on. <laughs> Bravo. Great. Now, what is your cello lungs? What can you feel with air that will make this? I do, look, same pumping. cello lungs? The arm, yes, very good. The arm and more so the elbow. Do you know this dance? Da -da 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 this, yeah, I call it the chicken wing motion. See, this motion doesn't exist in your playing. It's like an accordion that fills air and move it out. When you play, you like hang on an imaginary chair. You do this. <laughs> which is like when I spoke. Ta -ra -ta -ti -ra. Ta -ra -ta -ti -ra -ta. I need gravity and I need to move it, okay? So here's what I want you to do now. Before we play ABCD with lungs, can you do this motion for me? Like a big smiling face. <laughs> smiling face that you draw with your elbow, with your cello lungs. You know, play an open D. Good. Bravo. Great. Now, the wrist. That's the last thing I will bother you about. When you play, I'm just observing. Yeah, I'm not saying good or bad, okay? When you play, 
you lock your wrist. It's a fact. It never moves. So you play. Again, I'm not saying it's bad or good for cello. What else in life do you do with a locked wrist? Do you write emails like this? Do you talk on the phone like this? Do you eat like this? No, you play cello like this. It's, it's completely locked. Can you take, put your bow away? Put your bow away. Lock your wrist, lock it, and make it straight. Yes, that's somehow how you play. Now, imagine that your hand becomes a jellyfish. Do you know what's a jellyfish? So it does this. <laughs> now, take your cello lungs and move it. Just move your cello lungs. Don't move the jellyfish. It will move by itself. See, if you move your cello lungs well, your wrist becomes a reactor. It's not a creator like this. It's a reactor to the creator. When you create sound, yeah, when you create sound and your wrist is free, is unlocked, it can connect the air to the mouth, to the fingers. So, in general, it looks like this. This is your tongue, very articulated all the time, doing a lot of things. Connector, creator. When you played, it was one motion, like a robot. Like this. So I just want you to have the feeling now, first with A, B, C, D. Play it just with a, create, with a, art, what I call articulator. Do this. Bravo. Now add to it chicken wing motion. Bravo. Now add to it decoration. So you decorate the sound here, but you create it here. So put the, yeah. Yeah, you're still, you're reacting with your elbow, you're not creating. Move your elbow. Yeah. Now, if you sing, if you're a singer, yeah, you still, you have a gravi gravitation point, you stand, you sing. Now, if you sing a low note, ta, or a high note, do you use the same amount of air? You do, ta, can you sing an octave? Ta, pa. He's like, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I, came with, I came with Bach, what, what? <laughs> ta, now, inhale. <laughs> okay, but you see, you see the work, yeah? So, basically, in nature, the higher we go, the more air we need to produce. Also on cello, when you start this piece, you only need tongue, always, but a little bit of cello lungs, a little bit. However, here... You need a lot of it, yeah? So try to apply it. I know it's hard, all of this stuff. Try, look at your girlfriend <laughs> and try to chicken wing through it, <laughs> but also to articulate. And when you low, use more of tongue. When you get higher, use more elbow. Yeah, and always connect between them. Don't lock it. So the flow of air can get to the tongue. Okay, better? So much better. Now, the last thing, I, I promise, the last thing I want to tell you. If I, I have, you see this glass of water? It's here. And let's say you sit over there and say, Amit, can you pass me the glass of water? Sure. Here, take. You don't even think about it. What, what do I do with my butt? It, it moves a little bit. Now, what if you sit behind me? Or I put it on the music stand. What do I do with my hips? Yeah, I mean, it's a natural motion. I don't even think about it. Why in the world when we play a string instrument, we're told, don't move. <laughs> sit straight. See, you're moving the bow. You're moving your cello mouse. And as we just discussed, you have to move it a lot when you get high on the cello. 
so if I'm moving the glass of water so much, don't you think I should react to it? Now, I'm not even talking how, maybe that's another lesson, but activate your body. When you play... Tango. Speak. I don't need to move much here, but here... Do you, you hear the difference? No. Use your body movement along with all the rest of it. Then I leave you alone. <laughs> Chicken wing. Fingers. Minimize the movement. Minimize, just fingers. Start activating the lungs. And now push. Yeah. Floor. Good. What do you think? Forget about them. Isn't it more fun than... <laughs> Let's get over with it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Great.